He will dunk on you with two hands off a of drop. I'm punching that shit out. Of, I'm punching that shit out. <laughs> Another guy that came in and he hit me like square in the face. I was like, damn. <laughs> I ate that shit. I was like, crazy. <laughs> so I checked I, it out. I, I, and I, I thought said, you were going to say, trauma never leaves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, like, and then. Memories still playing back in my head like a nigga you recall. Seeing you thinking what I. We, for like hockey teams, like there's this thing called like locker boxing and you pretty much. Just like you put on your the hockey helmet and you have your gloves, you use the gloves, and y'all pretty much just box, right? And um, oh, this, oh, no, nah, shit's funny. So you can say, I would love that. I was just oh, thinking, like, hockey. I've seen, I've seen the videos, I bro. I've seen the videos, I, I, bro. I know Luch has seen some shit, bro. I've lit it, bro. There was kids on our team that got concussions preseason from locker boxing like there was <laughs> there was bad blood in some of this shit nigga like bro i remember some other shit but pretty much there's one dude on our team i ain't gonna say his name yet me night night so literally bro uh, this dude would say like <laughs> racist shit yeah that's, so whatever. a bitch ass nigga yeah no he no he would say like, he, yeah literally bro he would think he was like funny with it but it was like low-key racist shit and i'd be like no nah. and i didn't like the way he acted too and um you better bro, than me. He, I would say we don't need the clothes. Bro, he was one of the other mm. captains, oh. bro. I ain't gonna lie. He was one of the other better captains. And it was during the season, bro. I literally was like, I was like, we were talking about locker boxing. And I was like, I was like, yo, let me fight this nigga. That'd be so funny, wouldn't it? And I'm like, and everybody's like, yeah, that'd be hilarious. That'd be cool. And I'm like, thinking in my head, I'm like, I'm gonna kill this nigga, bro. I'm gonna mm. kill this, this nigga. racist <laughs> piece of shit. Bro, yeah, bro, I, <laughs> bro, I, I, loving piece of shit. Bro, I swear <laughs> to God, I spun this dude's helmet sideways, my mother. Bro, I'm telling you, I hit him so hard, bro. And then the side of the cage, he had braces on. No, bro, his mouth was bleeding after that shit. I gave that nigga work, and I was not apologetic even for a second. Like, didn't even like when yeah. when I when I hit his ass, like I hit him like three times, like boom, boom, boom. Then he he's like came back, boom. I'm like, all right, you bitch ass nigga, like just some weak ass punches. Hit him one more time. He fell over a hockey bag in the locker room. I was like, we won't, we won't leave it at that. Like, we won't leave it at that. Because <laughs> you can die right you're, now. <laughs> you're, in, you're in a bad place. You're in a bad place. I, I was like, I was like, like you can't be a captain if you can't fight. You can't go to war with no captain. You can't fight. None of the kids on our team had respect for him. It was literally just I ain't like gonna lie. me like, and the other captain. Get the fuck up. Get the fuck up. I didn't get captain. No. You called me a jiggle earlier? You're right. Well, first of all, Ty, low key, the only reason why I didn't do it was because I hit this dude so hard and like literally spun the cake. This dude's mouth was bleeding when he was on the ground. And then like the rest of the team in the locker room was like, yo, 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 let's shit, shit, shit. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, like, like, oh my like, God. Black or white, Asian, any of these things, <laughs> you still bleed the same color. And your mm. ass is the perfect yes. example right now. And these mm. hands are ready to eat for everyone. You know what I'm saying? And uh, anybody oh, can get. Shit. Bro, have, you guys, <laughs> you know, have you guys ever been uh, jumped? Uh, have you guys ever been yes. jumped? Yes, because I used to live in the trenches, <laughs> but that's not a good experience. Same. Not a good experience. Yeah. I got scars still. Oh, you know what's still? crazy? Yeah. yeah. Ew, well, yeah, because the scars don't go away. Sure, um, Pain no. don't go away. I also got Some, jumped Sometimes by the, the scars too. go away. <laughs> No, they don't. They don't. Trauma never leaves. They don't. So, wait, Ty, remember that one time when we were at, uh, we were at bar. So me and Ty are at bar in New Haven, right? It's actually me, Ty, and um, a friend of mine. Before we, I'm gonna let Miller finish his side of the story. Miller's a dumbass. I'm just gonna throw Uh, that out there. uh, No, Ty (laughs) Ty was also Ty was also there when I. But you you no, no, keep going. I'm gonna let you. Let's hear. Let's hear. Let's hear. Y'all, y'all can hear the story first. All right, we go, we go to the bar. So we're going to downtown New Haven. I think we went somewhere else first, and then when we go to bar, right? I think it might have been the only place we went to. So we go to bar in downtown New Haven. Great spots, by the way. If you're from Connecticut, great. I went there last Um, weekend, actually. How was it? Real quick, yeah. It was actually pretty packed. Yeah, like, I was always I was packed on a Saturday. Time. He actually yeah. hit me like I was in CT, but anyway. <laughs> I <laughs> thought he was coming down. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> no, so pretty much we go to the bar, right? We're getting around, we're mingling, you know, getting some drinks. I go to the bathroom, right? I'm pissing in the <laughs> urinal. And then this dude 
comes like he's waiting in line for one of the urinals and then like he's like he's just like joking saying some random bullshit and then he like comes to the urinal and he's like like one like two three over and he's like gotta watch out for my dick this shit like 10 inches da, da, da. and i was like <laughs> I, I thought this dude was joking and i was like i was like no 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 this sounds weird right over no, no, no. I thought I this dude was know. joking, so I wanted to see that. Shit. So I checked I, it out. I, 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 I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to be like, no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Sure it was real. <laughs> no, let's stop this. Yo. Let's rewind. Y'all are doing too much. He's in the studio next to him, like, yo. Hey, <laughs> Y'all know I ain't on that, that fruity shit. That's crazy. I'm that is that fucking crazy. hilarious. Man. All right, keep yeah. going, bro. Keep going. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. What really happened was pretty much when he came into the, that year, and I went to the, whatchamacallit, the sink across the way, couldn't see him. And when he was saying that, I was like, I was like, I was like, ha, ha, ha. I was like, uh, I was definitely feeling the tricks. But I was like, I was like, ha, ha. I was like, you ain't got no 10 inch dick, nigga. I was like, I was like, I don't got no 10 inch dick, and I still get more bitches than you. And he was like, uh, he was like, Ha ha, yeah, no, you ain't, nigga. And I'm like, I was like, why was that such a serious response? I was like, I thought I was joking. I was like, I thought, I thought it was all jokes. And then he's like, and I and I kept going with it though. I was like, I was like, I was like, bruh, I'm telling you, on God, I get more bitches than you, like a hundred percent. I was like, come on, bro. And he was like, he's like, nah, bro, like, what you talking about? And I'm like, it's crazy. Bro, no, bro, we're in the bathroom. He comes up, he comes up to me and like he grabbed, he grabbed my shirt shit. And I was like, boom. He like he she was like, like what'd you say, bro? And I'm like, I'm like, what? What is this dude? Bro, I take this dude's shirt and I just throw him up against the wall because this dude is like five nine, five ten. Like, I don't know if he was faded, faded like that. But like, bro, his boy, when I pushed him up against the wall, his little like five, seven, like little white boy friend, like literally was like, he's like. He goes to me, he's like, bro, bro, like my friend's drunk right now, like chill, chill. And I'm like, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, bro, why does your boy have his hands on me? Type shit. Da, da, da. So Ty opens the door, and it's just like me with my hands on this dude's shirt and vice versa. And I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to grab this nigga's hands on my shit. And Ty just steps in. He's like, he's like, bro, what's going on? Da, da, da. Like he starts breaking shit up. He's like, he's like, yo, like get outside type shit. And they're like, he's like, go outside, whatever. Like, let me handle this shit. Cause for the dude is literally, he was like, I got niggas for you, bro. He's like, he was like, you won't be on shit. Like I got niggas for you. I got niggas around this area. Like, um, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, whatever, bro. I literally thought he was capping out his ass. I'm like, bro, you're, you're literally lying. He just pulls out his phone instantly. And he's like, bro, I'm at bar. I'm in New Haven right now. I got this nigga on my ass. Do something about it. And I'm like, my life is actually ending tonight. That's hilarious. Yo. That's crazy. That's crazy. And then that's when Ty stepped in. And he's like, he's like, Ty was like, Ty's like, oh shit. Like, he's like, nah, like this dude actually got shooters. Like, let me handle this. And then Ty, you can take over from there because I left the bathroom heated. And <laughs> that was, that there's not much to say. I yeah, there's not that, really a joke. I basically, I basically said, like, bro, who are you calling? And he gave some Back. names. I'm like, Back. Oh, you you calling people that I know? I was like, bro, come on, bro. You're not calling them right now. Yeah, one's not even here. The other <laughs> dude try, you know. What I'm saying? I was like, the other dude was my best friend. So if he come here, he's gonna shoot anybody. You know, like it, yeah. he wasn't gonna- <laughs> Tyler is always a mediator between people. Like he's always yeah, like that's, that's settling. He's through. got a lot of connections. The fight a lot before of- a fight, you know what I mean, bro? Mm-hmm. There was this incident because in if bar, I take like it I there. Saying, or- Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I want to hear. I, mean, I want to hear the story. Yeah, yeah. So there was an incident in a like bar. It was, it was. Uh, I was going out with some of my my college friends from uh, post, and Tyler and uh, his friends were there as well. So like we all like kind of like met up. We you know said hi and everything, all that good stuff. We got drinks. We're having a good time, and Facts. we separate for a little bit. I kind of was just like walking through because I, I got a drink. And then I was going to go back to where all the boys were. But then as soon as I like, I like step in, I say, excuse me, like, excuse me, sorry. Like I, that's my always go to, like when I pass yeah. through people, excuse me, sorry. Yeah. But this one guy, he thought that I was 
like pushing him out of the way without saying anything. He was like tall as fuck. This guy, mother, he was like six, seven, six, five around there. Push and I, I said, I said, I said, I went like this. I went, excuse me, sorry. He turns around immediately and was like, he just pushed me away. I was like, bro, it's like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I told him. Like, I, 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 like, I said sorry. I said Bro, I said, I, I literally, <laughs> bro, he's, I I said literally just told you, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> like, I need to go by to get to my friend. And he was like, no, Dude. bro. Like, he started getting so heated so quickly. I'm like, bro, oh, like <laughs> excuse me, sorry. And uh, I just gave you a little, you know, a little tap on the back to go by. And he was like, nah, man, like, why are you pushing me and shit? Like, what, what are you doing? I was like, you want to fucking go? Like, what's up? And then, and then I was like, bro, no, I don't want to go. Like, what are you yeah. <laughs> Bro, like, and then I start, and then I started getting pissed off as well because this guy was like, like trying to, you know, trying to get me riled up and shit. I was like, yeah. I just said, excuse me, sorry. You're the one causing the problem, bro. You're the yeah. one that's all mad for saying, excuse me, sorry, and a little pat on the back, all right? And then out of nowhere, bro. Tyler's right behind me. He's like, he's just, <laughs> Tyler's like right behind me. Just pops out of nowhere, and then all my he's mad dogging him. Like all, all the all my other friends pop out of nowhere as well. So like everybody's just standing there like this, and my other friends like this, and all like this, like. I was like, like I was doing really like this. I'm like, but I didn't. I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't see them. I didn't see them, so I I pushed the guy. My friend started coming in as well, and Will, like the, my friend Will, he came as soon as I pushed this guy, he came in and was like, oh, like he was like straight. Up. <laughs> he pushed this guy, and then he was like, what is it? he went in and pushed him, and then that's when Tyler was like, no, 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 like, come on, like immediately, like you start mediating everything, like no, it's all good. And then like he he like kind of like pulled me back, and Will. And Sprouts like pulled me back and was like, "All right, yeah. there's no point, you know." Like my all my whole is. my whole friends it's really here and it's just yeah. you. But yeah, no athletes point. like you're right. But the thing I is, you know, it makes no sense. Yeah, no, it makes no sense. Ty's the instigator. Ty's <laughs> the instigator. But the crazy Bro, part is, the, when the, I he's, I in, he's in the he's in the back, like without you looking. He's like, "Yeah, fuck him up, bro." And then he comes in the same day. He's like, oh, oh, no, no. He's like, hey, hey, guys, guys, yeah. split it up. Guys, come split on. It up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do know, like, when I take it there, though, it's, like, real. Yeah. Though. Like, there's no <laughs> facts. Oh, yeah. I will say that. Yeah, if you do take it there, like, it is real. But, like, it's, it's so hard when, like, sometimes, like, you know, you're trying to have a good time. You're a little, you know, drunk and everything. And you, yeah. obviously, you know, you say, excuse me, sorry. Then this guy pushes you out of nowhere, bro. No, like, I... See, you're That's way wild. better than a man than me because if anyone pushes me, it's an automatic fist. So you're Bro. already better than me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've never had this experience before. So no one pushed me out the way. That's funny. But um, uh, so fucking funny. But, yeah. There's many instances That's where guys stories. get pissed off that I move out the way. I was with a boo one time. Boo should have been there too, but I was with a boo one time in bar, and like I was just going through thing, and like I guess two people were like following me. And the bull was like, oh, um, those guys kind of wanted to fight you or something. I, I said, bro, if they wanted to oh, fight man. me by now, I walked from point A to point B. They, they, if they wanted them. to fight, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? Like, come on, bro. Like, keep it, just keep it, just keep it player. Like, if that's not who you are, that's not who you are. I don't yeah. And I think that's a lot of I think that's a lot of shit. People. Yeah, I was about to say, I, I think like that's a lot of people. Tough shit. It's you fake only... tough shit. People not about it really like that. That's why when people, I think even that dude with the gang shit, like, I don't even think I he's about honestly like didn't that. believe him. Like, I, I didn't believe him. I didn't, I didn't believe him. him. That's why I did. I thought he was You don't want to take that chance at the same I time. That's, that was my thing. Yeah. I he would have been like, there you go. Oh, you that's heard what, your boy's that's voice. What, that's what they would have. That's what he would have said if they showed up. He would have been like, "There you go. He right there." Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, right there. I don't usually believe anybody because, like, but yeah. until I heard my boy's voice, I was like, "Ah, yeah, yeah." But whatever. That, that, yeah, didn't, that like, didn't. Well, that really matter. That didn't really matter. But um, yeah. either way, yeah. it's like I don't think it's smart to, to do something stupid not, in a bar. You know, you can not, you get your stuff up. Not. Exactly, bro. It never is. Cause, say bro, it. the only two things that's gonna happen is like a hundred percent kicked, you out, the get kicked bar. out. You already kicked out. You already mm -hmm. don't get kicked out. Personally, 
I mean, like, bro, if they if it's really serious, like they might you might get banned. You might get banned. You might get yeah. banned. I'm bro. thinking that like you might get banned. All I right, just, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something stupid that my friend did. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't even his fight to fight. He we were in the bar. He's definitely right? stupid. Close, yeah. close <laughs> to the post. We were in a bar close to the post, and this, you know. He's a nice guy, but he saw this little five foot five guy getting beat up by a five ten six foot guy without protecting himself. So he we turn around, this guy's just <laughs> battering his face like this, Papa, and he's just taking it like this, like like we turn around, like what's going what? on? And then he, and then my friend just comes in and he this is the guy's head, this five foot five guy. He comes in behind him and then he, he's like protects him with his arm. So the other guy is just like hitting him on his, on his arm and everything, trying to protect him. I'm like, bro, that's really nice. But then, uh, who, <laughs> who other people? That's what I'm other, yeah, I was like, I was like, that's really nice, but also like it's very stupid because it's not your fight as well. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. But then two, you don't know what he did. Like, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So that's why I was like, I just like, like oh, damn, he's getting, he's getting fucked up. <laughs> if I see somebody, if I see someone dying, then I'm like, okay, that's when I said to him, like, bro, you're going to fucking kill this dude. All right. Let's, let's chill yeah, out. Yeah. But this guy like was getting hit dying. In the face a little bit. He, <laughs> dying. He getting hit in the face he's a getting his bit, head like He was eating you know? shots. Pretty much. He was, he was eating, eating shots. shots. Yeah. He was just yeah. eating shots. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right, so he protected right. yep, yep. him like this. And then he, he was like pushing him back. But two of his other friends come out of nowhere and that's when I was like, bro, why did you get yourself into this? And then now the other, uh, the other two, the, one of them start hitting him in the back of his head, my friend's head, while he's protecting the guy. So there's another yeah. guy in front of him hitting him. And then there's another guy hitting him in the head. No. And that's when I stood, I stood no. up and I was like, bro, I have to really, what? And then I just went in. I, I, hit, I hit the guy in the back because I didn't want, you know, the, get my friend fucked up yeah, you know, yeah, i didn't yeah, want yeah. my friend to get fucked up so i had to like mm-hmm. hit him push him and then there was another guy that came in and he hit me like square in the face i was like damn <laughs> i ate that shit. i was like Crank. bro i was like you know, damn. bro i was i was i was like drunk enough to where like i knew that it was a hard shot but it, mm-hmm. i didn't feel anything so i was like whoa bro that should have been way more painful than it should have been like yeah. i should have been out because i, I felt that out. like i felt the slow-mo already coming in like, on the replay. yeah back so exactly spit out like, the mouth said, yeah, i felt the whole process i was like damn i turn around i, I just like push him out with my arm like this and then and then uh finally the security guard just tackles all of us to go out and i was just like bro <laughs> Why did you get into that, man? Like you made me come in and fight a little bit. Exactly. Like, yeah. So now, you, but that's but that's exactly what kind of Ty's trying to say, though. Like, bro, like none of that was worth it. Like your boy hopped into a no, fight that not. wasn't his own, and then he got you involved because you were trying to protect your boy, which makes sense. I get that, hundred yeah. percent. But at the same time, you get the rest of your crew involved, and also you just getting yourself kicked out of the bar, bro. And now it's like not a good man, look. It's not a good. No, but everybody, the fight, like, they the crazy part is the fight. Like, breaks out in the world part, it's just the whole thing. yeah yeah no you're right you're right it's a whole thing i literally used to yeah. fight the world and when now like i look back on it i'm like that's really dumb as hell like now just like i don't I, you will never so, see me really so fight dumb, unless bro. you yeah. really disrespect me or uh disrespect one of my friends family that's close yeah. to me and yeah. you know what i'm saying but, other bro, than but that, if, i, don't, I feel no, like if you saw if you saw yeah. like me miller or jared like get into something for some reason and you oh, saw no, us getting really like the, we mm-hmm. yeah, we saw you saw us not in that's a fair different. fight and then it's mm-hmm. like bro you kind of have to step in you know yeah that's no, no, what, i'm not that's saying why. your situation i'm saying like your friend stepping in exactly. something you don't know about yeah yeah <laughs> like he said sure. he said that's really nice but like <laughs> why did yeah. you do that <laughs> Why did you do that? Yeah. That's really nice. Because to me, you don't never know what he did. You could have. Well, I think the same. Uh, I, I think could have disrespected shit. his baby moms. You could have. Oh, okay. Bro, he could. He do, he could have done some weird shit at the bar, low key. If I think some dude's getting his ass beat at the bar, I think he did some weird shit to a girl. So I, I let him get Maybe, that. Yeah, probably. Honestly, probably. Most, like, most of the, most of the time, most of the time, I think that when I see some 
dude getting like like pressed up on and like they're gonna be like yo what you about like what you doing here like it's usually because like he did some weird shit to like a girl or he messed with somebody else's girl and like that's not my girl so y'all do it it's not my girl do your thing no yeah i actually went to a girl no i went to a I, I went to a bar with did, um actually. one of my friends, and there was this dude. He was like perverted as fuck. He was just like talking with this other guy, this older guy. They were like, I I was looking at them, and I heard their conversation. They were like, Oh, what about that blonde one? And the blonde one like was like my best friend. Mm-hmm. And so like the older dude left. Oh, the man. other dude, he was um, we were like all taking shots and like cheering because yeah. we were like celebrating. Uh, I think someone got promoted or something, Better. and. So this dude, when we were all promoting, he like came in and smacked my best friend's ass, right? Wow. So as soon as he did that, I was like chasing him around the bar, but then the security guard like stepped in between us. I was like, like, bro, he tried, he literally just fucking touched the ass, yeah. like all this. And then like another one of our friends came over. He was like, why the fuck would you do that? All that shit. Like, and then the dude was just like standing there like, uh, uh like, but not nah, like, we were really about to like jump like there was like 10 of us about to jump this one dude because yeah. like he was just acting crazy like mm-hmm. i just you like that's one of my disres- biggest you, you can't disrespect women like yeah, that's I what just, i'm saying no, like i can't crazy. i can't really yeah. i really that's like one of my biggest pet peeves like when people yeah. are at the bar like looking to like be predators you know what i mean that, like, bro, that's I've like, heard, bro i've heard that one real quick just to like interrupt bro i, I remember hearing like i never because like I mean, personally, I, mean, I got two younger sisters and I got two older half sisters. Like, I could not yeah. imagine some shit like that. But like, when I like got to actual college, I heard some craziest stories in my life. But one thing that you're saying, Jared, bro, this dude or this girl told me about a story when she was in Philly, and she was I was just like having a good time, whatever, whatever. And this dude lifted up her skirt and slapped her ass, bro. And I was like. What? What happened? No, he did and, it. No, he did bro, it. Bro, bro, that's sh- that's not that serious. No, that's girl, not even uncommon, very, bro. I hear bro, that shit all that the time, bro. That sounds fucking crazy to me, though. Bro, this girl's that's literally so like, crazy. yo, like this girl is so like messed up from that. She's like, I don't even wear skirts anymore. Like, I don't, I don't want to wear yeah, skirts. No, at least up. out, like, at least going out, like, I'm never gonna wear a skirt again, like, just yeah. because of that. And I'm like, bro, y'all are traumatizing these like girls that are just going out to have fun the same way y'all are. It's like, it's so fucked up yeah. that people are doing shit like that. That's just, I don't know. That's true. Crazy to me. I actually always like always wanted to go out and stuff, and I was just like, nah, like I'm not, like I don't really want to. And I'm, going, I'm going out, but it's not yeah, that I didn't I'm trust outside. her. It, it's not like it's not like I didn't trust her, but it's just like I didn't trust others because I know how people are. You know yeah, what I mean? That's what I'm saying. But that's how right. But guys can. are most, that, most important. That, I know how guys are because you're right, and I agree. you know what I mean. But, yeah. Real quick, Jared, I will say I think what Ty was about to say too, like. That's like that's just guys though, and also like you need a bro. I think she can be at work, bro. Yes, bro. I know. Yeah, she, I know. Can, she can be I anywhere. Good. I think you need the trust. She can be needs at Starbucks. Be, yo, right, bro. You need the trust needs I to be with you and your bro. girl. You know what I mean? You can't trust the people, the guys that are at the bar to not hit on your girl. You know what I mean? Like that's not the point. It's your personal, girl, personal like I think your girl has to have the street smarts to just yeah, be able to navigate. Because she, me she personally, me personally, I'm going out, guys. I'm yeah. going fucking out. Now yeah. I don't got to worry about the same thing. The same thing she got to worry about. But yeah, yeah. when she want to go out, I'm, like, I'm gonna let her do you. That's what I did. That's but all like, I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not. That I'm stress, not. like on the brain and shit. Oh, but like no, no. no. It was, she, she would come no, Jared. Back I drunk. see you. Like she, see, she would come yeah. back drunk, and it's just like, yo, like what's good? Like why are you acting like so drunk? And like, you know, you have to go drunk. through those. I understand <laughs> that, but like it got to the point where like she was consistent. Like she's always was like she puking. Up? Right? Yeah. Like oh, that. Yeah, mm-hmm. she bugged out. She bugged out. You know oh, what I'm saying? Like she bugged out. Yeah. No, no. You have a whole different argument. You have a whole different argument. I agree. I understand at first. So it's my like, perception, like my perception was, oh, she would just go out, and you were like, nah, I don't really, because nah, guys, like, to me, I, it's if like she, if my girl if she is goes out drinking alcohol to what she can handle and come yeah. back home safely and not throw up, I'm happy. Yeah, yeah I would yeah. be too. <laughs> I was gonna say the conflict though is that I was like more of a homebody. I feel like that. Uh, I was. That's why. That's why I tried to kind of point out earlier, which I was kind of trying to say, which was. It eats you up if you are not doing any 
thing at the time because if you yeah. if you are able to chill so like and i was saying like the work school whatever but if you're just at home right and you are just chilling on your computer or whatever you're just watching netflix right while your girl is out it gives you too much time to think about what she could be doing and i think that's a bad thing because i remember in my past relationship my ex didn't like she just went to school and then she would have a lot of free time and she was doing schoolwork and she did work as well um so like i get it but then the t- uh, she had a lot of time for not doing anything at the night time you know what i mean mm. and i'd be going out i'd be going out with ty or whatever and like she'd be like Man. she'd be like she'd be like what do you like and <laughs> she knows ty and um <laughs> <laughs> she knows ty. We all know ty. yeah yeah we all know ty. so i don't know we i was know just ty. saying like yeah. first of all what the hell does that mean you know what it is <laughs> you got different That's eras you got different. Uh, I just areas. like to go out. No, you're no, you're right. You just like to go out. I do I. But um, it was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I don't know. So pretty much what I'm saying is like I think I, I like told her anyways. I didn't try. You get to it, man. But it, yeah, no. But the thing is, when I when she was chilling at home, like she was thinking about shit too much, and I even brought it up to her, and I was like, "Hey, like you're chilling." right now like just doing homework and whatever i get it but like you are tracking my location everywhere i go no, that's like, crazy i wasn't doing all that yeah but but no okay but you don't have to do all that my if you won't be texting her at the bar and shit like that like i don't like that either because like i'm not going to be texting my girl at the bar because i'm there i'm at the bar to go talk to the people in real life like i'm mm. literally i'm trying to be in the moment so i i tell i, I, remember, I told my ex on when i go out the, bro i'm telling you Not i don't on, even like, pull don't my phone it. out of my yeah i don't i don't pull my phone out of my pocket until i leave the bar which is like three hours later and then like mm-hmm. i have to respond to the text after and do i feel bad a little bit of course but i don't care because i'm in the moment <laughs> and i'm i'm bro i, I like <laughs> i'm in the moment bro i'm literally trying to like hang out I'm trying to talk to people, trying to get a couple of drinks. I'm not trying to be like having a drink at the bar and then just be like fucking on my phone all night. And be like, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, that's just corny to me. Like, I, I don't fuck with that shit. Like, uh, so wait, so Jared, how's it been yeah. being back in CT? What, what are your thoughts on like, I guess, how do you like living in, um, you know, at WNE? And then how's it been being back home? Like, that's, that's a real big thing. Cause I think post-graduation you know what i mean like i haven't been there yet but like you know what are your thoughts i've talked to a couple other people what do you think um i like being in my own crib in mm-hmm. massachusetts the area wasn't really like engaging like there wasn't anything that really interested me but being back home it's cool to live home because you don't gotta pay like rent right now but i do want to move the fuck out <laughs> of course yeah that's because i i just want to like i feel like i i feel like i'd be um going harder because i feel like i'm a little more comfortable right now being home yeah. i'd rather yeah. just be like on my own and doing my own thing yeah. um just really push me to go harder whatever yeah. with whatever i do but i'm also building harder. better habits now um being home you know what i, I mean? think that's yeah yeah no i respect so, that i think that's definitely a real thing i think like you could do your like you get to focus 100 percent on yourself it's all on you when you're out but then like when you get back home you're like home cooked meals like yeah it's oh, all it's so good. Yeah, no i i love i love that Say less. i love that yeah yeah oh, absolutely. Love that. <laughs> oh we do we really do but no i get you that's a good look i mean um i know you were saying you really uh you got this job interview tomorrow right yeah that's good looks uh, good luck brother it is at the end, sharp, sharp. That's actually great looks. No, so um, in terms of living, I know you were, we were talking about a little bit last time, but um, is New York like actually like a place that you really would like to like settle in? And I'm not saying settle in, but like at least for now, you know what I mean? Like, cause cause I think these these years are like to try out where you want to live or what area. You know, it's not gonna be like yeah, I'm, I'm fucking locked in for the rest of my life, but like. No, but, definitely. Yeah, I, I like, wanted. Yeah. I was never really open to New York. Like that was one of the places that I really? didn't want to go. So okay. the wow. fact Man. that I'm a little more open to it, like mm-hmm. I can appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I I feel like I just want to venture out, like go wherever. Yeah. Um, once I start making a lot type more of area, 
or like like city, honestly in no. the city rural outside the u.s inside the u.s you know like, like i said like, yeah, but like i was never really open to the city but like now that yeah. i have a chance to be out there like it's like all right we're like let me try it at least mm-hmm. you know what i mean i've yeah. never been to like in the area where i was in the city so yeah now i'm just that's like nice. you know like fuck it let me just try it at least if it's not me then it's not me yeah bro you know that's, what I mean? that's really what it is yeah and like also it's experience you know what i mean <laughs> Yeah, I think in that, in that time, yeah, I, I felt that, I felt that. I thought it was a <laughs> no, no, it was a perp, it was a perp. That I was gonna be hiccup, but um, nah. So, but that's a good look. I think that's, I think that's really key. I think that I personally want to try to live in New York, like when I'm younger, maybe for a little bit, um, just as an, as an experience. But um, I think that's really cool for you that, like, you know, that wasn't something that you wanted to do. And now yeah. that maybe you have a job opportunity, like you get to maybe experience it. And it's like, all right, maybe you work there for like a two years. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's actually, and that's a real, like, that's my I, plan. Actually. I was about to say, I've actually looked up statistics and like, you actually realistically should moving, should be moving jobs every two to three years to get yeah. the highest pay possible. That is actually how you earn the most money. Mm-hmm. um not fucking climbing the ladder at your same company but um that's actually really cool like it you know two years like mm-hmm. it sounds like a long time but like it low keys it'll go like that and especially you know maybe a year year and a half maybe you got some money and you find that you want to live somewhere else like i think it would be really a cool experience but um no I, I definitely wish you the best on that that's actually like really cool thank you man Is bro. There, uh, good luck bro Good luck. Yeah, definitely good luck when are you back in the states luch that's the question i yeah. need yet. um i wanted to to go back when the season kind of ends i think it's gonna end around like beginning of december maybe but if we keep winning in the tournament that i said you keep going it goes it goes into january Mm -hmm. so but you know so hoping for january you know like you you're gonna you're gonna like yeah i hope for january uh but like if if you know you put everything you got into it and all your work and stuff and you don't come out with the result like you just move on you got to keep going so like yeah yeah, exactly bro yeah if you if you come back in in december like honestly like at the end of the day like i will say you did everything that you could you know i was about to say don't press yourself too much because it's not even like i think not even you 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 did everything you could because i think at the end of the day you will always think and i mean always you can always think that you could have done one more thing or you could have done yeah. this thing could have done so i was gonna say like don't don't just like try to trick yourself it's one more thing that type of deal like you know like Facts. all right like i gave my like in my mind like i gave like my best you know at what i did at that time but just like it's obviously about moving forward so like For you sure. know obviously don't fucking like don't kick yourself down you know if you're gonna come back you know early in december yeah. type shit like Nigga, you still doing this shit right now. There's, you are still part of the one percent, probably of the population, bro. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. um, less that's than honestly that. what I did with basketball too. Like I was just mm-hmm. when I quit, I was like, damn, I was in a situation where the coach wasn't really, you know, going for me. But I could have done some different stuff. You know what I mean? Everybody thinks and that, bro. I, I always say the same. I used to I bust wish Jared's I ass, ass though. That's the line talks talking. But I used to bust Jared's ass. <laughs> he did, he did, but there was there was that one time. There was that one time I got you. Everyone gets one. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Everybody. But other than that, my no. record, uh, that record is a thousand to one. A thousand to one. Hey. <laughs> I remember when he tried to beat my brother. <laughs> that's, well, it just didn't work. Oh, out. I heard about the story. I was actually around for this, but that was actually one. Wait, of the Tanner? You know when Tanner was Tanner trying to dunk on Tanner? me? Though. No, Tanner smacked Tanner's Jared. Tanner's just six Tanner's six Tanner's and smacked. way he's way more like I'm a skilled player, but I'm I'm strong also. But like Tanner's more like brute right. force. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so Jared wasn't over. expecting to bump him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember Tanner was trying to dunk on me though. He couldn't dunk on me. That's that was old Tanner. Tanner right now? Tanner ain't right dunking now, on me, bro. I, you know Tanner I'm down right now. Hey, he got high. You know I'm double with Jared. I'm telling you right now, not fucking with Tanner, bro. Not like I, I haven't played Taylor basketball in about two, and I'm three not weeks. one to gas my brother. I'm not one to gas anybody. I'm just telling you. I know what you are. I'm just well, telling tell you. Tell Tanner to jump. I'll tell Tanner next week. You don't even play basketball no more. So like it's exactly. Really... I know. I know. He will dunk on you with two hands off a drop step. 
I guarantee Damn. you. Won't do that. I'm punching that shit out. I'm punching that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm punching that shit. You know what? I just love We're going to have to see. So We're going to have to see. We're going to see. As soon as, Miller, as, soon as it I comes off. ignorant so much. It's like, <laughs> it's like a hockey player telling me they can play D1 basketball just because. Right, well, that's crazy. You know, that's crazy. Crazy. And get it back. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I've seen it. I, we're getting our we're getting our first guest next yes. week. Everything's yes. all good. Everything's all good to go. So mm-hmm. you'll be seeing Tanner Tyler's brother on uh, as our first ever GG podcast guest. Let's so it'll go. be good talks. We are very like excited. Like Miller was saying, it would be great talks with different different perspectives in in life and different goals that he's going through and stuff. Like it's just getting people on the podcast so that we have different yeah. outlets and different yeah. perspectives for everyone. <laughs> yeah. So like for those for those of you as well, like um, out there watching, um, make sure to go, you know, check us out on Instagram, and there'll be mm-hmm. a poll out there, and we'll send out a poll and like who wants. to you know, to be a guest on GG podcast. So we'll figure out and make a list and all that kind of stuff. We already kind of like have a list of people that we want to bring on and we, we can figure out a uh, whole schedule and time and place, you know, where to do it. But other than that, you know, like we are trying to veer into more different things to talk about. So yeah. it'd be more interesting to see. Yeah. And but I would also like to that, say, low key, I wait, yeah. sorry, real quick, but I will say uh, this is only our second pod. Uh, video for the wine talks low key and, and we would actually appreciate comp like you know uh feedback on this like they've seemed to be doing well but like you know let us know how you feel about them like if you want more yeah. content out of these wine talks we can do that uh because we had our you know last one at about 26 minutes but like if you want more you know maybe you want to cut it up a little bit just let me know just every any type of feedback like we'd really appreciate but you know we should all support you know, when I edit these, uh, you know, wine talks and stuff, I'm trying to make it shorter than the podcast. Mm-hmm. So the podcast will be a little bit longer than the wine talks, but the wine talks is kind of like, you know, yeah, we're just going nice with the flow and then thing. we cut it out yeah. a little, little shorter than the podcast. But other than that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. All right. Peace. Yeah. Is there? Peace. Peace.